Hello and welcome back to PSD Touch Plus. My name is Martin Pehiniak and this is the Shortcut series. Today I am going to show you how to combine images together and create a panoramic indoors photograph of a room. This is a nice example of a kid's room uh, from a friend of mine and I took six photographs and I promised to my friend that I am going to combine these into one photo. A nice panoramic image. So it's looks quite simple to do because we can just select the six images in uh, bridge and then go to tools photoshop photo merge which will open up in photoshop and here we can choose auto uh, layout and blend the images together and maybe even use geometric di distortion correction so let's see what happens then photoshop will first of all load in all six images into this document and then it will do the auto alignment that's what's happening now once they are aligned it will start working on blending them together and creating a seamless composition now this is already done and we can even merge these layers together so i can press command e or right click here uh, one of the layers and choose flatten image but the problem is that we have these angles here in the room. So this should be straight on both on the top and both on the carpets where we have these strong uh, curves which we want to straighten. So for that I am going to choose the adaptive wide angle which is another CS6 new feature. I just select that. And with the first tool in the toolbar draw over these curves first one it's already straight I am going to create another one that's already straight and then let me do another one here at the bottom I've straightened that as well then the wall here on the left straightened another constraint here on the right that's straight as well and probably one more here and one on the wall in the background so now everything looks nice and straight it's time to click on OK and we can use the free transform tool to turn this around a bit to make it straighter and then we can use the crop tool to cut out the additional area which we don't need so here on the left we probably want to cut it somewhere there and then drag it up a bit something similar to this if we have those additional areas in the corners we can always fill them in uh, with the clone stamp tool or if it's too complicated we can just simply make a tighter uh, crop in this case let me make a bit tighter crop here on the top as well something like that and we are ready with our great panoramic shot of the room and you can see how easy it is to do something like this the only thing you have to remember is to make sure that the images that you combine together have some overlap between them if you have that then you won't have any problems and that's all I wanted to show in this tutorial I hope you find this useful and you, you can apply it to your own photographs and I also hope you will join me next time Thanks a lot for your attention.